there such hatred for saved people in the time of Jacob's trouble? People that have the testimony of Jesus and keep the word of God, there's a lot of hatred for them in the future. Why? What's going on there? What event happens that brings such hatred? So are you telling me that Muslims don't hate the uh, believers on the Lord Jesus Christ that there haven't already been martyrs for the cause of Christ? Really? I know there are a lot of people out there that are anti-Christian, but the fact of the matter is, you know, I drive around a truck with gospel things on it, nobody's running me off the road, nobody's trying to cut my head off or anything. You know, yeah, there are anti-Christian people, but it's not at this level yet. What? Oh, so you're just telling me that the gospel of the pre-tribulation rapture, that it's only aimed at the American people. So that's the American gospel. Hmm. You're just saying, hey, I get in my little old truck and drive around with my Jesus stickers on there, and, well, nobody's trying to kill me for it, or even trying to run me off the road. Shoot. Even occasionally, some people say something nice about it. So, we must not be in Jacob's trouble. Well, I'll tell you what, little man. Why don't you get in your truck and uh, just drop it on down south to Mexico because I understand that uh, the predominant Catholic religion down there they'll, they'll murder a Baptist but not just in Mexico let's see uh, in China it's against the law to have a Bible and man isn't it, isn't it over there where they've got the underground churches yeah I believe there's plenty that hate the followers of the Lord Jesus Christ in other lands and even over here in America I mean, you do actually see Christians get persecuted over here, but not nearly as widely like, say, in any other country, though. But let me go ahead and uh, get back to the topic here. So Brian's saying that uh, there's no tribulation. Nobody actually hates Christian. They're just anti-Christian, you know. They just don't like us. Really? Then why is it that when we see Muslims killing Christians right now over in other countries... I mean, in Syria, you see Christians under heavy persecution, but according to the pre-trib believers, no, that's not persecution. Man, these people just need to quit professing Jesus so they don't have to worry about being hated for his name then. Once saved, always saved, right? Makes this level happen. So you see there are three different passages where... There's such hatred for saved people in the time of Jacob's trouble. Just incredible hatred, you know? What causes it? Well, I believe it's going to be the rapture and all the babies leaving with us. They're going to blame it on us. <laughs> That's right, you heard it. Brian said that the reason that people actually are going to hate Christians in the time of Jacob's trouble, or rather during tribulation, is because they're going to blame Christians for all the babies leaving during the rapture. You got it right there. That man is totally clueless why people hate Christians. Bible believing Christians. They're going to say it was a terrorist attack and that we somehow got rid of the babies. <laughs> really, listen. The world don't hate the abortion clinics enough. You really think they're going to hate, you're going to turn around and hate Christians just because of babies? I mean, seriously. People don't want to talk to us because we don't want to drink beer with them. And you, you think they're going to turn around and think that the, the Christians are the reason that the babies are gone. And that that's going to be the reason that they hate them. Oh man, son, you need to come back down to reality. Think about that. I did. You say, what about the newborn, or what about, you know, are there mentions of children or small babies in the time of Jacob's trouble? Yeah. We'll look at the reference. Matthew chapter 24, verse... I'm going to set the record straight right now, and that is that I am a Ruckmanite. I have the entire uh, commentary, Ruckman, all of his commentaries. Ruckman's Apocalypse just makes your head spin to look at all this guy has taught and preached on. Um, I'd like to have somebody show me somebody who's even come close to Ruckman as far as the number of books written, the numbers of videos produced, the numbers of messages, both sermons, both preaching Sunday mornings, and also special studies uh, recorded. 
Oh, I know, because that makes that man so much better that he's made all these movies and books and tapes and stuff to sell to people to make all this money. I don't know of anybody that can come even close to approaching Ruckman. You have a right to sin. He's just a guy so messed up. It's, it's incredible.